first up to the scales. His professional record stands at 9-0, and oh, a perfect record. Nine fights, nine victories, four wins by knockout, 24 years old. His professional record includes his latest victory, a split decision win over Jake Paul. He comes to us from right here in Manchester, England, and he is a member of the Gypsy King family, the legendary boxing family. He is the undefeated Tommy Fury! Stepping onto the scales, One hundred eighty two point six pounds for the undefeated Tommy Fury. Getting a little crowded up here, but now, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out Tommy's opponent. His professional record stands at six fights, five victories. He has one draw. Four of his five victories are by, are by knockout. And ladies and gentlemen, let me get all my information here. Here we go. He is the YouTube superstar, actor, musician, entrepreneur, producer, Ladies and gentlemen from London, England, the undefeated fighter known as the Nightmare, he is K-S-I. <laughs> Stepping on the scales, K-S-I. One eighty one point three pounds for the nightmare. K. S. I. It all goes down tomorrow night at the AO Arena in Manchester. Tommy <laughs> Fury, oh, KSI. Oh, yeah. 24 hours. Oh, 24 hours. 24 hours. It's over. 24 hours. It is over. 24 hours. You're going to get shit out. And then you're fucking shit in your shit done. Your shit is over. Your fucking you shit can't do it. It's over. Oh, it's 24 hours. Oh, you can't do it. 24 fucking hours, you piece of shit. 24 fucking hours. 24 fucking hours. 24 hours, you piece of shit. 24 hours, you piece of shit. Pretend fuck. You pretend piece of fucking shit. You fucking cunt. Fuck you. Fuck you. You pretend fucking piece of shit. 24 hours is over. You fucking bald cunt. It's over. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. 24 hours. KO, bitch. KO, you ugly piece of shit. 24 hours. 24 hours, Baldy. Go fucking size here, middleweight. I'm gonna run over you, you fucking middleweight. The prime card, live, exclusively worldwide in the zone. Bitch. And it's all going down tomorrow night at the AO Manchester Arena. Tommy Fury, KSI, in the featured contest of the evening. This is my town of Manchester. I want to thank everybody for coming out. I ain't going to disappoint you tomorrow night. Born and bred in Manchester, born and raised. We're going to show these Londoners how we rock up here. He's going to get knocked smart out. Thank you very much. Show some love for Manchester's own Tommy Fury. We'll get a quick word here with KSI. We didn't get to hear much from you yesterday. Now we get a chance to speak. Very intense face off there. What did you make of that whole scene, especially? Oh, real Tommy? quick, how is Tommy Fury getting booed in his own hometown? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's KSI. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been the underdog before. This isn't my first time. From Joe Weller to Logan Paul, I've been here before. So understand this. Understand this, ladies and gentlemen. No one knows what I know. No one knows what my team knows. No one knows. No one fucking knows what my fucking sparring partners know. But soon tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, you will all understand. And you will all know. Let's fucking go, baby. Nothing more to be said there. Show some love for KSI, everyone. The face of Misfits Boxing. <laughs> what a promo that was. And Ade, we're lucky enough to have one of his sparring partners right next to you so he can back up everything that he just said. Idris Virgo in the house. Live worldwide on DAZN from one of the great sports cities in the world, Manchester. Let me hear it. This is the moment the world has been waiting for, especially here in Manchester, the official way in for our final two fights tomorrow night on the Prime Card. An evening of professional boxing for your entertainment, and it's all presented by Misfits Boxing at the legendary AO Arena here in Manchester, England. Ladies and gentlemen, it's sponsored by Kick, Steak, and of course, Prime. Sanctioned by the Professional Boxing Association General Secretary Michael Baker, Supervisor Mickey Van. So let's get things started with the weigh-in for the first fighter. This contest on the Prime Cards Double Rumble is scheduled for six three-minute rounds. In the cruiserweight division, it has a catchweight limit of 195 pounds. First up on the stage into the scales, making his boxing debut, he comes to us from New York City, New York, USA, an accomplished combat sports star, an MMA star, and a four-time world champion jiu-jitsu superstar. He is Double D, Dylan Dennis! <laughs> Stepping onto the scales. 195 pounds, right on the money, the limit at 195. Dylan Dennis. Next up on to the stage and then the scales, ladies and gentlemen, Dennis's opponent. He comes to us from the United States of America, native born in Ohio. He's one of the most prominent social media influencers in the world, and he's a WWE superstar. He is Logan the Maverick Paul. <laughs> Once again, six rounds scheduled in the cruiserweight division with a limit of 195. Next on to the scale from the United States, the Maverick, Logan Paul. Logan Paul on the scales, 195 limit. 194.4 for the Maverick, Logan Paul. It's the prime card tomorrow night at the AO Arena, the Manchester Arena. A double rumble, co-feature and feature.
<laughs> Take the mask off. Here they are face to face in a special security cage. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a glass partition between the two fighters. We want them to be fit, ready, and healthy for tomorrow night's contest on the prime card at the AO Manchester Arena. Once again, six three-minute rounds. The action will be intense. Here they are face to face, but divided by a special glass partition. Once again, we want the fighters to be healthy and save that energy for the ring tomorrow night on the prime card. Dylan Dennis, Logan Paul. Come on, let's do a real face off. 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 It's all broadcast live and exclusively on DAZN Worldwide, the sold out AO Arena in Manchester. Dylan, let me get a quick word with you. Dylan, one second, Dylan, you finally had a chance to face off. What did you see in his eyes when He's you looked pussy, into him? He's a bro. He has nothing behind his eyes. He has a bunch of cocaine behind his eyes. He's a fake fighter. Let's do a real stare off like a man. But he's a fucking pussy. Where's Nina at? Where's Nina at, you little bitch? Dylan. Bring that whore up here. All right, let's get a word with Logan now. If I can, let me get, let me get a little word with Logan. Logan, obviously there was, there was a lot of concern. It all goes down tomorrow night at the AO Arena in Manchester. Let me just get a quick word with Logan. Logan, there was some concern about you yesterday. How are you feeling? How is the face? No concern. I'm feeling beautiful. Dylan Dennis is a coward. He's a predator, and I'm fucking him up, Ariel. I'm fucking him up tomorrow. He's a dirty-ass fighter. I got all the goons in case he tries anything funny. In fact, I got Dylan Dennis kryptonite in the building. You know I brought the baddest dudes in the world. I got Gordon Ryan to protect me in case he tries any jujitsu bullshit. This man gonna fuck you up tomorrow you try to pull some shit. Well, there he is, one of the greatest jiu-jitsu practitioners of all time. That is, in fact, Gordon Ryan. Gordon, why are you here? Really, I'm here just to uh, retrieve Dylan because I need someone to clean my cars, and he's the one who usually does it, and so I came all the way here just to retrieve him to bring him back home to Texas. Long-standing feud between these two that dates back many, many years, Gordon Ryan and Dylan Dennis. I would love to get Dylan's thoughts on this, but I don't know if I could do that. Let me just ask you. Dylan ain't got no thoughts. He's fucking brain dead. Finally, what happened this morning with the Wayne? He says that the... Uh, he says a lot of shit. It's all bullshit. He's looking for any reason he can to pull out of this fight, but it's coming, Dylan. 24 hours, I'm going to decapitate your fucking ass. Thank you very much, Logan. <laughs> Believe it, 161.9 for Salt Poppy! What a weight loss journey he has been on. I'm sure he is an inspiration for many of you watching right now. Congrats once again, Salt Poppy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, fighting out of Brooklyn, New York, Slim!
playing. Yeah, keep the song playing. Showtime, baby. Come on, baby. Showtime, know, baby. Man. Let's get it. Let's get Fight it. Fight of the night written all over it, man. <laughs> Former Miss Weight Light Heavyweight Champ, about to be the new middleweight champ, baby. I'm gonna get that bonus. You already know, like always. Oh, getting knocked out bonus? Is there a getting knocked out bonus? <laughs> <laughs> no comment, no comment. <laughs> my God, it's all, my God. It's all love. Take me out to Filipino food after, right? We get some Filipino yes, food yes, right so after. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Damn, you're looking cute, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Appreciate it. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> all right, put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Slim versus Salt Poppy. It finally happens live from Manchester, England tomorrow night. She is Alexia. This should be Darby, but it's spelled D E R B Y. I have many questions about this fight, guys. 110.5 pounds for Alexia. Incident with the table, worker shoe. And her opponent, fighting out of Portsmouth, UK, Astrid Wet. One hundred and twelve point two for Astrid Wed. Winner gets all broke. Winner gets all broke. Get ready to be on the floor. Mm. You're going to spend your time. The whole three minutes. Absolutely is that, is that no, no idea. Oh, I've got some idea, honey. Oh, Don't you're you going to be absolutely. Oh, And it is for the Misfits Light Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of Alameda, California, Anthony Taylor. One sixty nine point eight for Anthony Taylor. And his opponent, the king himself, King Kenny. One sixty eight point seven for King Kenny. My man, yes, sir. Trim Kenny. No, 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 take that off. Take that off. Don't Take touch. that off! Don't touch. Trim Don't Kenny! Touch. Don't touch. Trim Kenny! Touch. We want to see your truth. You're still. finished. You're finished we on Saturday you. night. Hey. You're finished. You're, you're finished. You're, you're finished. Kenny. All you have is that overhand right. You're That's not going to be enough to beat me on Saturday night. Yes. That's not going to be enough. Hey, your king is getting I really old. hope you trained hard because you're going to regret not training. I'm, your king is getting old. I'm your fight experience is not going to be enough to beat me. You're, you're gonna get some more black and all. You, you're too old and ugly to be a king. You're too old and ugly to hey, be a king. Hey, hey, take off the do rag and we'll see who's ugly. <laughs> I won! <laughs> yes, 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 yes! Must see TV, Anthony versus King Kenny tomorrow night. All right, I'm here with King Kenny. Oh, 
All right, I'm here with King Kenny. King, King, can I have a word with you, my friend? I'm here with King Kenny going up against Anthony Taylor tomorrow. I'm going to the stage, guys. I'll see you up there, all right? Peace out. Yes. Much love, much love. Idris, don't beat him up, all right? Don't beat him up. Don't beat him up. 173.5 for my mate, Nate. And his opponent, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Batista! One seventy four point eight. Thailand versus Brazil. Thank you for this fight. Thank you too. Thank you, Thank you so much. It's going to be fun. Let's do it. Let's slow down. Ah. <laughs> Let's do it. The bloody fight. A bloody fight. A bloody fight. Ah. <laughs> for your gifts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sing the team first. B Dave and Luis Pineda. Shout out. We're just running with it. We're just absolutely running with it. 164.74 B Dave. Best hair in the business as well. B Dave, yeah. Idris, what do you think of the uh, tag team scene? Yeah? You want to get involved? 164.74. For Luis Spinetta. It's a crazy thing that it's become just a part of the scene now, right? Like initially everyone was all up in arms over it, and now it's just Oh sorry. sorry. Yeah, I gotta lay out for this, right? DJ, you I can't introduce him now. Everybody, let's hear you! Come on, sweet Caroline! So good, so good, so good. And now, welcome to the stage, their tag team opponents, Nick Lamal and Alex Wasabi. Bad guys, I like it. By the way, 164.4 for Nick Lamal. Wasabi looking good. 163 point down for Alex Wasabi. This guy is just itching for a fight. Oh, guys, oh, geez, oh, yeah. Yeah. Boy, stay behind him. You know, ultimately, that's the thing that you have to give these men and women credit. They don't show up out of shape. They pay respect to the sport, right? You can see they've gone through a whole training camp, and they're stepping in the ring. Why are you so short, bro? And I was born this way. Born this way. Uh, and that, to me, is impressive. My coach told me to wear my shoes. He said I was going to look short this way. <laughs> you hella short. Bro. Damn it, I should have put them on. You good, though. Yeah, uh -huh. Your height's not going to save you. Oh, good boys, yeah. To the front, yeah. Come to the front. To the front. Ah, uh, that could pop it off. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.